now our next guest has sent a video. Now this guest is possibly one of your biggest fans. Oh, yeah? From Sicily, representing the country of Bulgaria. I think you know who I'm talking about. Hi Alessandro, hi Luca, hi everybody. Uh, so I'd like to ask to Luca, which is my biggest idol, uh, what uh, does he think about the um, evolution of uh, ballroom dancing and uh, the differences between the ballroom dancing in the WDC and in the WDSF? What does he like? Uh, uh, what do you like more? And what do you think about this? new styles which is going uh, around this is my question and um, i will uh, look forward to hear your reply and the reply to all other uh, questions ciao ciao hmm. okay this is a another very good question yeah um, as i mentioned earlier, right, on one of our, my previous answers, balance is the key, yeah, to life and to, to everything else. And uh, what I do feel WDSF has done, they have gone extremely into the physicality of things, right, and maximizing um, shapes and movements. Um, on the other side, WDC has tried to remain more conventional, more traditional, but generally created a more boring mm -hmm. outcome. Yeah. So I don't like either. <laughs> right? I'm sorry. What do you mean? What do you, what would? So, what do you mean by that? And then what and, would you like to see instead then? Right. And uh, and I'm not uh, in this, with this statement, I'm not disrespectful to the dancer themselves mm -hmm. because there are talented dancers in everywhere, right? In, in all kinds of federations and at all kinds of levels. Um, but I feel that couples have made the choice, you know, they, they have chosen, okay, I'm going to go totally WDSF. I don't think there should be a WDSF style and I don't think there should be a WDC style. Right. Because right? we, we are connecting to the previous questions from Anna. We are all individuals. Of course. Therefore, I should not be thinking, oh, I need to dance WDSF style or I need to dance WDC style. But in truth, I should dance my style, right? I should mm -hmm. understand what is best for me. What am I great at? Right? As an individual, I'm not great at everything. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to okay. be great at something. We all have gifts. As humans, we all have gifts. So I have to understand what is my gift and then not really be influenced by WDSF or WDC, by these kind of brands, but mm -hmm. really develop what is true to me. And this is what I don't see. And that's why I say I don't like neither. Not because the talent is not there, not because the effort is not there. But because I feel that dancers in WDSF try to fit to WDSF so-called style, and couples in WDC try to fit to the so-called WDC style, mm -hmm. right? And then the I, tendency, I where you're going, yes. right? So the tendency that you have 300 couples all dancing the same on one side and 300 couples dancing the same on the other side. And this is, I feel, this is missing the whole point, mm -hmm. right, of, the, of individuality. So if I look back at history, and uh, I stress again the fact that I'm not about just history, right, but I'm about mm -hmm. evolution, but we have to be very sensitive when we are evolving, because we have to be, sens we, we have to be aware of the essence of what we are evolving. Mm -hmm. Right. Otherwise, it can just become a change for the sake of a change, but not actually bring any improvement. Um, so if I look back at earlier generations, up to my generations and before, there were a lot, there was a lot more individuality. Okay. Right. So you would have five or six couples, right, 
in the with final a different style on the floor, yeah? Totally different style, right? And we were all working to be individual. We were all working to develop our own senses, our own way of doing things, right? Then through the years, I do feel that he has become more of a stereotype, you know? So this, mm -hmm. this couple is winning, okay? So now let's all dance that way. That's true, right? that's then, true. Then it becomes a copying, a copy, and a mirror, exactly. and a mirror, and a mirror, and then you have 300 couples doing the same thing. Exactly, right? And that's missing the point of actually what the competition or what, you know, and no matter if you're going more for the artistic aspect or you're going more for the athletic aspect or you should combine the two, but I want to see individuals on the floor and that's what I don't see. And I see generally the establishment promoting conformism. Hmm, okay, over, and, and, and what is this? Hmm? The the comfort zone. No, not comfort. Like com like conforming. Ah, conforming. Excuse me, I like must have had a glitch, but yes, it, it's That's intriguing. Right. I... right. So then you have the couple on WDSF, that, and I, you know, I teach all kind of different couples, right? I teach mm -hmm. students that are competing in WDSF. I teach students that compete in WDC. The mentality is the same. They try to do what the stab what they think the establishment wants. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, that means that the establishment is not promoting a message of be individual. Right. Right. It means that the establishment is promoting a message of conform and you will be successful. Mm. Okay. But I, feel, but I feel this is very limiting at a human level, right? Because the human, human is, has no, no, uh, I mean, no boundaries, right? We can achieve anything. Course, so course. We, we should, as humans, we should be allowed, supported, nurtured, promoted to develop our own individuality. If you enjoyed this small clip from our Let's Get Real interview with the one and only Mr. Luca Barichi, head over to watch the full interview on YouTube, Spotify, and all other Scalora Danceport listening platforms. See you guys there.